What is going on everybody? Today is gonna to be a good day. You know, we're back in Texas. It has been like, it feels like it's been like two weeks since I've been here. You know what happens when you've been gone for two weeks? You get stuff like this. Toys like this come in the mail. And you're like, God, that's freaking awesome. I feel like I got Justin Bieber hair going on right now. My hair getting a haircut tomorrow. I cannot stand this, this long hair just like being, look at this, this is, yeah, anyway. But we got this, we got the good old bump helmet, we got the mount coming in, we got the, or, well, the mount's already on here, but I mean, we got we got the nods coming, I got nods coming in for, uh, nods coming in for here, for hog hunting, it's gonna be fun, I'm excited, we're doing that tomorrow. But, God, I love getting little toys like this. But I wanna show you guys something real quick. These hats just came in, they're uh, the Never Fear Anything hats, this is the one I'm probably actually, you know what, I don't know why I'm wearing that one. Those ones are still for sale, but this one, you know what, I like the color of it, it's bright. I need a haircut really bad. But these hats right here, these ones are for sale on the site. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys about apparel, all apparel right now is gonna come with one of these. I had my guy order 500 stickers that I'm going to personally sign. Every single one of these little stickers, well, there's gonna about to be 499 of them so you guys can see what they look like. Well, the first 499 orders now, see this? I'm gonna sign every single one of them. I'll sign them down where you can see, but you can take them, I guess you can stick them on your car, your kayak, or whatever. But the first 500 orders, doesn't matter what it is. If you order one shirt, two shirts. If you order two shirts, you get two stickers. You order one shirt, you get one sticker, or hat, or whatever it is. You guys know the deal. But I thought I'd let you guys know. You guys have been asking for stickers, so you know what? We're just gonna give them to you for free by ordering some of anything on that, that stuff. It'll be linked down below, all my apparel, all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, we got a ton, a ton of stuff that came in while we were gone. Favorite sent me a, uh, all those six sticks are in. These is the $149 combo we have been working on for months. We've been testing it and getting it done and they kind of came in, well, we've been working on it for about four months now and we finally got it to where uh, I think you guys, you guys are gonna be kind of happy with this. Hopefully I didn't grab flares, more flare stuff. Oh, here's the spinning setup, here we go. So what you guys get with all these? Like I'm being, I, I haven't really gone over them yet but I'm going to because this is what I'm gonna be fishing for the next few months. It's literally, you get a rod and a reel for $149 shipped to your house. You know how freaking nuts that is? Like, just think about that for a second. That was like the number one comment that we've always had on these videos is, what is the best rod and reel combo for under 150? Well, what is this? What is this? So you know what, we, we, we went out, me, Peric, Flair, um, and now Lake Fort guys are part of the team, but we have, we've all been going out and we've put our asses on the line to make these for you guys, so. You guys will see me only be fishing these for a while to get them, to, to, to really show you guys how good they are. We gotta get all these lined up. I'm not really too excited about that, to be honest with you. But they look clean, they're nice and black. And there's a uh, 20 mile an hour winds outside today, so it's gonna be real fun fishing. So this is actually gonna turn into a kind of a new series I'm hoping to try to do. is It's a pond series, but it's gonna be a limited tackle type deal. I'm, I'm bringing five, was it four, five, six or seven different plastics and a couple hard baits. And that is all I'm bringing to the pond. I'm bringing a couple rods, spinning setup, which has got, right now it's got a wacky rig and a Texas rig and a spinning bit rod and that's it. That's all I'm bringing, three rods, three six stick rods, the whole complete setups in two little tackle dealio trays. The room is an absolute mess right now. Whew, it's giving me like a uh, guy, I, I gotta get out of here. So let's go hit some ponds. I'm gonna throw, throw it inside my, uh, the AP backpack that I don't have and uh, let's see if we can go find some fish inside these, uh, these little residential ponds that I found. Step number one. Good. Good to go. All right, let's see if we can go catch some uh, catch some bass. It would be really crucial and ideal right now to have a uh, have a nice nice pond hopping backpack. Uh, one that I didn't have to tear up and make my uh, camera bag a pond hopping backpack. I wish I was friends with somebody that made a backpack. Oh, okay. All right. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, I feel, oh, come on. Don't worry, I'm not trespassing. Well, I'm gonna start off with a spinner bait, I guess, right here. On this uh, little deep, this is probably pretty deep right here, actually. God, this is nasty looking. Look at this sludge. Oh, come on. Oh, why did I take off the uh, rod socks? Oh, who knows? All right. All right. 
God, that first one was really bad. So we're gonna move over to uh, another set of ponds. Uh, I say we because I, I uh, met a subscriber on one of the adjacent ponds where I was just fishing. He didn't catch anything either. So we're gonna head down here about a mile and fish two ponds that I know that at least they have fish in them. I've never caught any fish off those ponds. I don't, I don't believe I have, but these ones down here, I have caught fish in the past. Uh, I probably fished it about six or seven months ago. It's been a very long time. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. If there's nothing there, then we'll hit some other ponds. That's pretty much how this pond hopping video is going to go. There's like seven or eight people fishing this thing. Holy crap. There's a lot of people fishing here. Yeah, I saw that. Usually, the last time I came here, it's too weedy to even fish. Like, it really? was like a foot deep. Oh, there's one. Got him. Oh, yes. Not a bad one. Here we go. First fish of the day. Oh, it was actually a pretty good fish. Look at this. There we go. Wow. Was not expecting that to come off this little shallow, uh, shallow portion of this pond. I've been walking everywhere for you. I've been looking everywhere for you, man. It's a good, healthy fish. Look at that. I probably put a lot of money. That's a female. Look how small the mouth is in comparison to the body. It's awesome. There she goes. Cool. I stopped. I was actually going to go all the way over there, which I'm still going to go over there, but I stopped because there's a little depth right here because it gets like real shallow and, well, as you can tell, it's real sandy bottom, but decided, you know what? Screw it. Let's give it a shot. There's some grass. There's some cypress. Why not? Calls for a sweet sweet bass action so here's the two baits or three baits i've actually used so far today uh spinner bait i've used this with no luck texas rig little worm little red plum worm no luck but this has just worked but the reason why i'm actually kind of sticking with this because the bottom of this pond as you guys can see right here is like really 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 nasty like leaves grass everything so texas rigs are not really working too well because they're just pulling up a bunch of gunk Let's see if we can get another one on this uh, little wacky rig setup. Nothing, nothing better than a wacky rig fish, huh? Ooh, that was a hit. Damn. Didn't take advantage of that one. I bet you my, my worm's gone. Oh, there's another bass following it. Oh, my God, he was following it without a hook on it. I could see him just staring at it. Oh, he's gone now. Damn. I didn't take advantage of that one. Here's my uh, my pond set up. This is all I got. We'll go with uh, we'll go with a GYB, an actual Gary Yamamoto this time. We're gonna head over to where uh, that's the guy I was fishing with. Well, that's the guy that I came here with from the other pond, but I'm gonna go over there near him and see if you might want to go to another pond or I want kind of like that point over there. I haven't fished it yet, so let's go give that a shot. Okay, here's the deal. We don't want to be in sport mode. Uh, so this is what we're doing. We've uh, we caught one fish on this pond. No fish on the, the other pond I was fishing, but the guy that I met up over here, you know, when I was just talking about a second ago, he told me that the pond that he was fishing, they caught some fish out of it, but they are using minnows. So it got me thinking, I wonder if I can get away with using like an underspin maybe. Maybe not, maybe not like a big presentation bait like that spinner bait. Maybe I'll maybe I'll downsize to like an underspin with a really like I got a small trailer like I was using on those chatter, those white chatter baits you guys saw me using over in Florida. So that's actually that, you know what that's what I'm gonna do. I didn't realize I honest to God didn't know that these ponds were this heavily fished. Oh, and on a good note. I got a, uh, I got like a toy at the house that just arrived, which I think a lot of you guys are going to think is pretty freaking awesome. I think it's, I think it's awesome. I haven't, I haven't fooled around with one of these since I was in the army. It's like something we had in the army we used a lot. So just, just kind of, kind of bear with me till we get back to the house. Cause I really want to show you guys this. Got him. There we go. What? That is a catfish for sure, isn't it? No, it's a catfish. Why? Why, catfish? 
Oh, he's death rolling on me. Thank God I brought a pair of pliers. <laughs> Damn it. On a freaking Senko too. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Damn it. Come here for bass. Dude, at least you yeah, you had to get your hands all slimy. Yeah. Oh. Dude, dude, where are these bass at, man? I caught mine on the I hand. I thought you dude, had a good one it. looking at your pole. Yeah, no, I know. I did until he started rolling. I was like, son of a bitch. That's like the worst thing to catch when you're bass fishing. Catfish. I know a lot of you guys probably catfish, but man, if you're bass fishing, you do not want one of those. I thought it was a big fish at the beginning, but then it started death rolling. I knew it wasn't a, I knew it wasn't a bass. I'm out of here, guys. Y'all have a good day. That is a, uh, that's one way how not to fish a pond. If you guys, if anybody is watching this right now, are in the DFW area, and you guys have a pond that Flair would call fire, then uh, hit me up, send me an email. I'd like to go fishing with some of y'all. That guy was uh, was uh, hanging out with today's name is Peyton. What's up, Peyton? Uh, he came up to one of our uh, meetup we had here, man, months, months, months ago. And that was back, that was a long time ago after I think about it. Oh, yeah, you know, you know what's good about this though? Is I'm back in Texas. I'm going hog hunting tomorrow. So the next video, hopefully you guys will see us and me go kill some pigs. Gonna be back on that bass fishing grind. I'm talking, I'm not gonna leave Texas for like two to three months. Just solid, nothing but bass fishing because this this is the time of year where it's gonna get hot. It's gonna get, it's gonna get, gonna get, gonna get good. It's gonna get real good. But anyway, I'm gonna get back over to the house because I wanna show you guys this one last little this little deal. It's a, uh, it's, it's something I've been, well, I kinda need it for what I'm doing and uh, I kinda give you guys like a, a, a sneak peek of what I, what, what that helmet was for. There's, there's a reason why I got the bump helmet. There's, I'm not gonna just ride a bike with it. I guess I could ride a bike, but anyway, I'll see you guys at the, his house. Hey, hey, whoa. Is that a dog? Is that a dog? Yeah. It looks good, I'm sure. We're going into a dark room, everybody. Just me and you. It's not creepy or anything. Just kidding, we're not in a dark room together alone. It's not really adjusted right now. There, now it's adjusting. Now we can be alone together in this really dark room, looking around, somewhat creepy-like. You can see just about everything in this room. Mm. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, it was just, uh, today, today's uh, fishing portion of today's video was kind of blah. The, the entirety video could be blah for all I know. I mean, you know, I just had a lot to get done this morning. But, had to get out, hit some ponds, met some subscribers at the pond. It was, hey, what's up, guys? I'm, I'm glad you came over and said what's up. Um, if you guys see me on public, I, I mean, we're all normal. Every one of us, John, everybody that comes up to us will always say what's up. I mean, there's no need to be shy. We like chilling with you guys. We like hanging out. We're normal fishermen just like you. We're not pros. Um, if I was a pro, you'd probably see me wearing a, a jersey with like 40,000 things and trying to shove down your throat. But right now, we're just trying to shove Mystery Tackle Box down your throat. So take it, take it, take it just like that. <sighs> yeah, today, today, was a, today was a really good, good fishing episode. But tomorrow, guess what we're doing? Hopefully we're gonna be shooting some hawks. Hopefully. Might get a little bit of fishing in the morning. I don't know yet. You know, it just depends on how tonight goes. I feel I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a... I don't know if you guys have seen Outlaw's video. I should actually link it below because it's actually pretty funny. Outlaw did a rant video. And I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to link it below. I'll link it. It'll be underneath like merch. And I think I was trying to sell maybe a t-shirt this morning or tell you guys all these about... about I'm, I'm going to be signing these things and sending off every single piece of apparel that we do. Or that we sell to you guys or whatever. Like if you buy two, you get two. That kind of deal. That'll outlaw. It'll be apparel, and then it'll be outlaw. You got to go check out Outlaw's video. It's like a rant. I really, at some point in my uh, YouTube portion of my career, I thought I was going to do it in this video. I was going to be like, hey, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do my uh, why I don't fish tournaments rant. But I think we will wait a little bit longer and just let it just kind of soak in. 
since I got to go stand in one next weekend and just kind of hang out and say what's up. So the big thing is, is next week we got to go to the, the classic, but for the most part, we're really just going to say what's up to you guys and, and meet and hang out with you guys. We're going to have like a separate deal. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it inside of the venue or outside of the venue, but I do know that we're going to have a whole bunch of Google apparel, Google, Google, we're not selling Google, Guggen apparel, God, I can't speak, Guggen apparel. It will, it will be there at the Classic for you guys. We're going to hang out. I don't know. We'll probably do something like we did last time. This last time we got like 30 boxes of pizza. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll go all out, go balls to the wall, get like 32 boxes of pizza. Wall to wall, true top tall. If you guys know who it is, say it down below. Fat Cat New, what's up, dude? Um, dude, I'm all over the place. You know what? <sighs> yeah. The, the, the little bit less unfiltered Rob is just slowly coming out on YouTube on a on a daily basis. We're just having a good time. This is a first. This is all for fun. Never never take life too seriously, especially when it comes to fishing. So, I'm going to uh, mount up. You know, get ready. I'm gonna pinch my beard. Yep, gonna happen. It's gonna. Oh, good. Good to go. Good. I'll see you guys tomorrow on another episode of uh, Lunkers TV. I never, 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 I never